Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Mocha Jules. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are one of my returning babes, hey beautiful. So today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I create this signature look. I wear this makeup look all the time because it is quick and easy. And it definitely goes with any outfit that I put on. So I feel like you would love this look and you would look so good with this. So if you wanna see how I create this look, go ahead and keep watching. And I hope to see you at the end of this video. All right, beauties. So today we're going to be doing this soft glam look. And it's going to be so beautiful. So beautiful. And it's one of my signature favorite look. It goes with every outfit. Never miss this. So I already got my brows on. I already have a video where I've done my eyebrows on camera. So I will link it up here or down below if you want to check it out and see how I get my eyebrows. So first, I am definitely an eyeshadow first girl before a full face. So we're going to do our eyes first. And it's so easy. One, two, three. It's not going to take that long. So first, what I like to do is I like to prep my lids with my concealer. If you have a eyeshadow primer, you can use that first. But I like to go in with my concealer. And the concealer I'll be using today is my e.l.f. 16-hour um, camel concealer in the shade Rich Chocolate. And then after I apply my concealer, I am going to go ahead and set it with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the shade Medium Deep. And the brush that I'm going to be using to set my concealer and the powder is this brush right here. I think it's by Real Techniques. It doesn't have the name. And usually Real Techniques have its name. So this can definitely, this may definitely be a, um, a dupe, which I probably got it from Amazon. I'm not 100% sure. But everything is going to be linked down below. Um, but it's this brush and it looks like this. Or sometimes I use this brush. But it's dirty. That's why I'm not using it. And I really need to wash my brushes, y'all. I do. But um, I've been very lazy. And I haven't had a chance to wash my brushes. <laughs> but don't worry. I will definitely get to it this weekend. So we went ahead and we prepped our lids. But before we go ahead with our eyeshadow, I did forget to um, moisturize my skin. I don't know how I even forgot that. Like that should be the first thing after I do my eyebrows or before I do my eyebrows. So let's go ahead and um, moisturize our skin because I wanted to, you know, settle in as I do my eyeshadow. So then by the time I put my primer, it'll be settled into the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with my CeraVe Facial Moisturizer Lotion. <music> Alright, as we can see, I'm now moisturized. I, my skin was definitely feeling dry. Now it's feeling so um, quenched. Yeah, it's feeling quenched now. And you can see that now it's not ashy or anything like that. So definitely, definitely moisturize your skin. Have a skin prep routine in order because that is definitely key when you are doing your makeup. So make sure you moisturize your skin, prep it, all that. Even if you're oily, dry to normal, always make sure you prep your skin because that is definitely key to a nice base. All right, so now let's get into the eyes. So if you know me with this eye makeup routine, because I've shown this eye makeup several times on my um, Instagram or my TikTok, and I did post a short here on YouTube. So if you know, you know that to get the signature eye look, I always use my Juvia's Place Vanessa um, palette, which looks like this. As you can see, like you see my fa two favorite colors to get this eye look. It's literally 
you know i hit pan because literally that this is my this is my oh i just love this look because it just matches everything and it always looks good so first and foremost i'm gonna use my sephora number 24 pro crease brush to apply my transition shade and my transition shade is going to be bsg which is right here and then we're gonna apply this transition shade on the outer corner and into our creases and I like to first pack it on and then I go ahead and blend it and then also too because the eye shape that I like to do I like to you know sp spread it out like this with my brush if you can see it gives this shape right here and then I go like this into the creases <laughs> I do like to stay below my brow bone because this is not a dramatic look. It is a very simple, soft, glam look. Um, so the eyeshadow definitely stays below my brow bone. So now that we have our transition shade, I am going to go ahead and go in with the next shade, which is the shade Busy. And I'm going to go in with this brush. It's like a flat brush, which I got it from Amazon. I will link it down below. It is very flat. So this type of brush allows me to be able to get into the inner corners and to be able to those small spaces where maybe the eyeshadow won't be able to get into with like different type of brushes. This flat brush allows me to make sure I get the whole lid and all of the spaces that I want to apply that eyeshadow to. When it comes to um, shimmers, when it comes to eyeshadows, this kind of brush here gets the job done. All right, so while doing this part of the eyeshadow, I don't rub the eyeshadow on my lids. I pat it which makes it uh, better and it makes the um, eyeshadow more pigmented when you do it this way instead of rubbing it or brushing it through because as you can see as I pat it you can see how bright the eyeshadow is and also I do shape it like I'm doing a cut crease which I'm not you know doing an actual cut crease because we know the steps to a cut crease so I just pat it just like this and then I start bringing it, you know, where I want it to be. So beautiful. All right, so of course we're not gonna leave it like this i am gonna go back in with that number 24 brush the sephora brush and i'm gonna go ahead i'm not gonna put no um eyeshadow on there yet i'm gonna use the excess um eyeshadow that i have left over on this brush and i'm gonna blend it in just so you see right here you can see the harsh lines so using the brush like this it blends it all out and allow it to blending together to remove all of the harsh lines like so and you can honestly go back and forth with um the bsg well with that um nude shade and the transition shade to get that blend that you want sometimes i do sometimes i don't um but just go ahead and keep going back and forth and blending it all out until you get your desired look. Boom. Like, don't this eat? Like, it's a signature for me. Like, girl, you can wear this with anything. I kid you not. With anything. All right, so now to add like an extra step to this eye look. Because um, you can leave this like this, add some lashes, and then go about the whole rest of the face. But I do like to add some liner. So I am going to add some liner. And today the liner that I'll be using is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Liner, um, which is the Expert Liner. And this is the shade Jet Black.
so now that we have our liner on and our wing do you like do you like i hope you like it because girl i love this look so now that we have our eyeshadow and our liner on, we're going to wait to the end, well, towards the end, to apply our lashes. So let's move on to our face. So now we're going to go ahead and prime our face. And the primer that I'm going to use today... So I'm going to go ahead and use my Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin because I just love it so much because I know you guys know I love my um, Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer or my Elf Grip Primer, Power Grip Primer. Uh, but now to add to that list is going to be my Danessa Myricks Glow Yummy Skin. I think that's what it's called. I love it so, so much. <music> So now that we have our primer set, our serum set, now I'm going to go in with our foundation. In today's foundation, I will be using the Urban Decay's Face Bond Foundation in the shade 33 Deep Neutral. And the brush that I'll be using to apply it is my It Cosmetic brush, the number 115 Airbrush Complexion Perfection brush, which looks like this. This brush was gifted to me when I went to their brand event um, and they recently mailed it to me because I didn't get a chance to get it at the event and they engraved my name on it, which is super cool. I wanted to show you guys. Isn't this cool? It says Mocha Jewels. Just so cute. I'm so happy and like... And you guys, I know I look so crazy because my shade, I'm, I'm very deep on the face. And as you can see, when we go to the neck, it's not as deep as my face, which is hyperpigmentation. So it looks like I'm trying to like um, turn, into, turn into a different shade color than what I am. And it's not true, honestly, because if I do go in with a deeper foundation, um, which is the shade of my face, it will look crazy because my neck and my chest area would not match with my... Um, with my face so I tend to go in with my neck instead of my chest because my chest is definitely much more brighter than my neck so I, I try to go in with the shade of my neck which definitely always does you know it's always good when I do that you know I never had any issues but um, I just wanted to you know show you guys because I know I'm looking crazy right now but honestly it's because I have hyperpigmentation and I like to um, use foundations that's the same shade as my neck. See, as you can see now, we have, you know, an even base. So now after we apply our foundation, I'm going to go in with my concealer. So I am going to keep that momentum going with the same brand. I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay's Stay Naked Quick Concealer in the shade 90 and N. I'm going to use this to... Um, conceal and then I'm going to use this shade 70 and in to highlight So while we wait for our concealer to set in before we blend it all out, I am going to go ahead and contour and I'll be using my Black Opal Foundation Stick um, stick Foundation in the shade um, Java Dream. So the brush that I'll be using is this angle brush right here, which looks like this. And the brush that I have is the Hannah Martin by S with Siat. Um, Siat is the brand and the brush looks like this. So 
So when I do this part, um, I like to brush upwards instead of downwards because we're not trying to drag the cheekbones down. We're trying to drag it up just to give it that nice chiseled look. So dragging it up, allow it to, as you can see, be snatched and yeah. Alright, so now as I wait for the highlight to settle in, I am going to go ahead and apply a liquid blush. Today's liquid blush will be using one of my faves. is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin. Um, I don't know the full name, but it's like the Yummy Skin Flush, if I'm not mistaken. And this is in the shade Dancing Queen, especially on a deeper tone. It's so beautiful and pigment. And I'm going to use my Eco Tools a uh, full blush brush which looks like this All right, so we're looking like who done did it, but that's okay. It's part of the process. Be patient. <laughs> All right, so now that we have our liquid, every last one of our liquids on, I am going to go ahead and set my face first. I set my face twice. So, so today's spray that I'll be using is my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set Refresh Spray. I love this spray a lot. It's almost done, but I have a new one, but I'm trying to finish this one first. Make sure you test it out first so it doesn't spit on you and then go ahead and spray. All right, so now as you can see, you see it's like a radiant, like a glowy, not so dewy. I don't know. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you. I'm, I'm moving way too fast, way too fast. So now we're gonna go ahead and set our face. I am gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in the shade Golden Orange. And I'm gonna use my triangular puff in here and then on the back of my palm, I am going to pat the excess powder on just to make sure that we have an even coat. So now I am going to go in with another setting powder, which is the One Size Ultimate Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Dark D. Alright, so now, because we're looking crazy, I am going to go ahead and go in with a um, finishing powder, which is my Sephora Micro Smooth um, 
face powder in the shade 75 hazelnut this is going to go all over my face and this is basically to um, set everything and also blend everything um, to get rid of the harsh lines that we have going on on our face I almost forgot and the brush that I'm gonna be using is the elf ultimate blending brush which looks like this do we not see the base the base is basing now we're gonna go ahead and bronze I, so the bronzer that we'll be using today is the juvia's place bronze bronzy in the shade deep dark beautiful beautiful so I am going to use the same brush that I used when I had contour. So I'm going to go in with both. I just dab in between and the same areas that I had um, con contour is the same areas that I'll be bronzing. All right, so now I apply my lashes off camera. So, oh, before we move on, let me show you the lashes that I actually use. So I got this these lashes here from Amazon. It's the New Cali Beauty. Um, I think this is like a wispy, like the wispy one. I will link it down below. But this is how it looks. It comes with 28, 28 lashes, okay? 28. You cannot beat that. I love these lashes so much. Ever since I found these on Amazon, it's been my go-to. It's been my go-to. So, girl, I got you. It will be linked down below. Trust me. I love these lashes. The same brush that we use to apply our transition shade, which is the Pro Crease number 24 brush, and the same shade, which is BSG. Right? BSG. Yes, BSG. I'm going to go ahead and apply it on my waterline. Oh, but before I do that, I'm going to first apply some um, under eyeliner. And I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay 24-7 um, Glide-On Eye Pencil, which looks like this. And it's in the shade Perversion. And then I'm going to go in with Busy, you know, to blend it all out. What's wrong with everyone else? How is that? You're going to have to call your friends. So now we're pretty much done. So last but not least, before our lips, I am going to apply a blush and then I'm going to set my face. So for blush, I am going to go in with my Juvia's Place um, Blush Rouge. And this is Volume 5. And I'll be using my... Ooh, this doesn't have a name. I think this is another dupe to the Real Technique brush. But y'all, honestly, you can definitely find this type of brush in any brand. But I will link this down below. I think this was more affordable, I think. But I will link it down below. Real Techniques, is it should be about the same thing. I'm not sure, but I do think this is a dupe um, for the Real Techniques one. I don't know what number that is, but I have it listed down below. So I go in between both shades and then I, you know, pat the excess out. And then I apply it on my face. So today I'm going to go ahead and use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Don't forget to test spray it first. We see it was going to spit on my face, honey. So we spray it first. I love the smell. It's like a powdery smell. And then we go ahead and apply it all over. All 
all right so now we are moving on to lips so for today's lip combo we are going to use our wet n wild cold liner in the shade simmer brown and after i apply my liner i'm going to go in with my makeup by mario super satin lipstick in the shade bronx baby which looks like this it's like a peachy nude and then last but not least well not last but not least and then on top of that i'm gonna go in with anastasia beverly hills lip gloss in the shade peachy nude and then to coat it all together i'm gonna go in with my fenty beauty um gloss bomb in the shade hot chocolate which looks like this Telling me I should be dying, I'll be like you. I don't wanna be like you. That's been a whole lot of trying, a lot of crying, a lot of telling me I should be dying, I'll be like you. I don't wanna be like you. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I can't take no more. From your hands and your body, it hurts so much to think of you as someone else. Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me. Now I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. the clock and rewind go back to that moment in time when you say you want me for life was it all a lie i gave my all to deserve ya begging on my knees just to show ya you're the one i want and i love ya no 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 lie I all right beauties so here is the finishing look y'all i am in love this is my signature look that I wear all the time, literally all the time, unless I want to, you know, have some pop of color, I'll do like shimmers or whatever the case may be. But this eyeshadow look is usually what I wear most of the time, especially if I'm in a rush. Oh, trust and believe this is the eyeshadow look that I'll be having on my lids. So let me know what you beauties think. Would you be trying this out? I think you should. It's definitely popped okay it's definitely pop and it can go with any outfit that you put on like it's definitely a soft glam it's beautiful you can wear it in any season girl i'm telling you i just love this signature look let me know down below what you babes think and if you like it and if you'll be trying it and anything else you would love to see from me next don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit your notification bells to know the next time i post a video so beauties this is the end of the video and i hope to see you on my next video bye now i'm talking sweet all by myself